As the U.S. Navy's primary electronic warfare aircraft, the Growler is equipped with special equipment and systems that enable it to detect, identify and jam enemy communications and radar signals. This ability makes it very effective in disrupting an opponent's air defense and communications systems. Growler is claimed to be able to provide intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance data. The EA-18G is capable of jamming and jamming enemy radars, including air defense radars and surface radar systems. This allows the aircraft to help other fighters enter safer airspace by reducing the enemy's ability to detect them. The EA-18G Growler is the U.S. Navy's newest electronic attack aircraft intended to replace the aging EA-6B Prowler in the service's fleet. Based on the F-18EF Hornet airframe, this two-seat, twin-turbofan aircraft integrates the latest electronic attack technology. Includes ALQ-218 receiver, ALQ-99 jamming pod, communications countermeasures, and satellite communications. Along with the electronic attack suite, the Growler is also equipped with an APG-79 Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar. The aircraft also retains all the multi-mission capabilities of the F-A-18E-F with its validated design and ability to perform a wide range of enemy defense suppression missions. The first Growler test aircraft entered production in October 2004 and made its first flight in August 2006. The extensive similarities between the FA-18E-F and DA-18G Growler, as well as their flexible platforms, provide the Growler with much needed room for future upgrades and growth. The first production aircraft was delivered June 3, 2008 to Electronic Attack Squadron VAQ, 129. The Growler Fleet Replacement Squadron, at Naval Air Station Whidbey Island, Washington. Initial operational capability and full rate production followed in the fall of 2009. In 2010, three squadrons, VEC 132, 141 and 138, transitioned from Prowler to Growler and were declared safe for flight. Scorpions from VEC-132 deployed to Iraq as an expeditionary squadron from Nas Whidbey Island, in the fall of 2010. Shadowhawks from VEC-141 deployed in the spring of 2011 aboard the USS George H. W. Bush. The EA-18G Growler is a variant in the F-A-18 family of aircraft that combines the proven F-A-18F Super Hornet platform with an advanced electronic warfare suite. Built to replace the EA-6B Prowler, the Growler was the first new design electronic warfare aircraft produced in more than 35 years. The aircraft also retains all the multi-mission capabilities of the F-A-18E-F with its validated design and ability to perform a wide range of enemy defense suppression missions. In the U.S. Department of Defense, the U.S. Navy is the sole operator of the Growler, although the EA-18G is operated cooperatively with the Royal Australian Air Force. There is also significant interest from current and potential international partners in the EA-18G. The first Growler test aircraft entered production in October 2004 and made its first flight in August 2006. The extensive similarities between the F-A-18E-F and DA-18G Growler, as well as their flexible platforms, provide the Growler with much needed room for future upgrades and growth. The first production aircraft was delivered June 3, 2008 to Electronic Attack Squadron VAQ, 129, the Growler Fleet Replacement Squadron, at Naval Air Station NAS, Whidbey Island in Washington. Initial operational capability and full rate production followed in the fall of 2009. 
In 2010, three squadrons, VEC-132, 141 and 138, transitioned from Prowler to Growler and were declared safe to fly. In the last 15 years, the EA-18G Growler has spanned the globe to support all major and fast reaction actions. Growler's first baptism of fire occurred during Operation Odyssey Dawn in Libya in 2011. The U.S. Navy's four expeditionary VAC squadrons uniquely support U.S. Air Force and Navy ground operations. Only A-18G squadrons were stationed at Nas Whidbey Island, with the exception of one squadron, VEC-141, attached to CVW-5, Forward Deployed Naval Force, based at Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni, Japan. This aircraft is intended to replace the platform lost in 2018. The aircraft was delivered in March 2023.